Hey everyone, this video is about what is the correct grip when throwing sidearm. Now I've discussed this many times that there will never be a universally correct grip in disc golf. The reason why is that we all have different shaped hands, different length fingers. I've even worked with players with fingers banging off in all sorts of wonky directions. So there is never going to be a correct grip. There are, however, rules to follow with whatever grip you choose. So starting with the top of the disc, what you want to do with your thumb is you want to put it down on the flight plate, slide it forward while squeezing until you can feel the lip of the disc. Uh, the silly way I always describe this is if you dipped your disc into a vat of olive oil and you had no friction whatsoever, the only way you could grip the disc would be by squeezing down and using that lip. So use the lip and then let friction aid in the grip, not create the entire grip. Next, you always want the disc tucked in all the way as much as possible. You want it snug in there. Remember, you have to be able to do things that can be replicated. If you don't replicate things every time exactly, your timing's off, your aim's off, right? We need to be able to do the same thing every time. A grip with the disc floating out here somewhere can't be replicated, but it's very easy to replicate tucked all the way back in. So simply do that. Snug in the web between your thumb and your index finger. Now underneath, the most important thing is you're gonna use a two finger grip. Now, obviously this is a one finger grip, but this right here is also a one finger grip. When you grip a disc like this, the middle finger is propelling the disc forward, the index finger is sitting here doing nothing. You want two fingers pushing the disc forward as it accelerates. Now I'm okay with this. I'm also okay with this. What I'm not okay with is this right here or even with the knuckles on top. The reason why, it's just basic physics. Uh, you remember the old expression, give me a long enough lever, I'll move the earth? Well, your fingers are gonna act as a lever. The longer the lever, the more physics is on your side. Now, there is a middle ground here that I call gray area because some players like to put one finger extended all the way with the index finger bent. I'm not, it's not a hard no for me, uh, as I've stated, if it's comfortable for you and you're following the important rules, follow them. So if you're doing this, you're still taking advantage of at least one long lever and doing a two finger grip, but all things being equal, get two fingers extended all the way. If you do this, you're gripping the sidearm correctly. Now, I do private lessons. I do private lessons for players all over the world because I also do them by video. Simply contact me at Disc Golf Lesson, and that is Lesson Singular, L-E-S-S-O-N. So Disc Golf Lesson at gmail.com, and let's talk about working on your game.